When I first discovered that I had so many new frog eggs uh, this morning, I decided I needed a, ultimately a larger tank uh, to handle them once they start growing uh, into tadpoles and uh, developing, if many, that many survive. Um, and so I considered, I down in my basement I have my old 20 gallon that 20 gallon long tank that I had up in my bedroom for my other shrimp. Um, and at first I was considering making a uh, simple uh, two by four platform to sit on the ground. Um, not a full stand or anything, but just something that would support the tank. Um, but then I went down to my basement and discovered that I had a 10 gallon. Uh, I didn't know that I had another 10 gallon. I had a five gallon um, and the 20 long. Uh, a five gallon wouldn't do because that's what I have presently and I wanted something larger. And so I took the 10 gallon and discovered that I had already cut a uh, piece of uh, I think particle board or something uh, to fit it underneath and so I don't have to make a anything two by four. Uh, I just put the uh, tank on that uh, particle board base and set it on the floor next to my um, two tanks that I have in the office room. At first, this was my setup, this little five gallon on this foldable table, and uh, it was right in the spot where I wanted to ultimately put the larger tank. And so my first thought was I'd have to empty the um, five gallon contents into a tote uh, bin in some other location in the room just so I'd be able to actually move that table, folding table and tank out of the way to make way for the new tank. So it would be a two-step process. Move the uh, contents of the five gallon on the folding table to the tote bin and then move everything away from that area where the five gallon tank originally was and then make the stand or put the uh, tank, the new 10 gallon tank in its place and then transfer um, all the contents of the five gallon tank into the new 10 gallon tank in its new location. Kind of tedious. Uh, but then what I discovered was that if I was very, very careful, I could move, kind of drag the folding table carefully um, and not spill or uh, any of the contents of the five gallon that's sitting on top of it. And so I did that and actually moved the five gallon and folding table a little bit out of the way, just enough so I'd have room to set the new tank on its uh, particle board base. Um, and so that would eliminate that first step for me. So I could immediately uh, transfer all the contents of the five gallon tank directly into the 10 gallon tank on the floor. Uh, saves, saving me a lot of time um, although it still did take quite a long time, probably four or five hours, uh, to do it all. Because I had to prepare water for the new tank, make sure it was cycled, um, prepare a new sponge filter with media, um, heat the water up, make sure that it's dechlorinated and all, all sorts of steps before I could actually put the um, 
tadpoles and eggs breeder box into the new 10 gallon tank. So it took me four or five hours probably uh, to do the whole process. But it's done and the tank was instantly cycled which is really nice because uh, I hate cycling a tank. Using media, ceramic media, you know little bits of um, ceramics um, from other established tanks um, that creates an instant cycle where you have no ammonia, no nitrites or anything dangerous for the fish or frogs or whatever. Um, so I was able to um, instantly cycle the new tank, um, which was nice. Okay, so um, I'll give you a, a little look at the different parts of the new setup now. Here's the new 10 gallon tank on the floor. And here's the breeder box with all those eggs that I discovered this morning. With a little air stone with a little bit of oxygenation. Um, the breeder box, see there's all the eggs. Um, there's a double sponge filter this time. Um, and uh, the heater to heat it up to 80 degrees. All those little white dots, that's just um, bubbles. And there's the double sponge filter again. Uh, I put the plants in and the um, tadpoles are doing just fine. Um, I thought at first it might be a shock for them because to get them out of the old five gallon tank I was using a turkey baster and I was hoping I wouldn't shock them too much. Um, but I managed to get them all. I think there's 14. Um, but once these other eggs hatch, who knows how many I'll have. 